my correct people how na day now happy weekend my people my people our guy you le do she don't finally talk oh in don't provocation he don't spark say you know they fear anybody at all in life na in life you see this life is nobody's business people should stay clear people should mind their own business he has the right to marry 100 wives According to himself, he said he can wake up any morning and decide to marry 20 wives. He can decide to increase it to 50. He can decide to make it 100. It's nobody's business, so people should stay away. That is even a shame of those people talking about him. Can you imagine that? He is ashamed of the people talking. He's not ashamed of himself. Yeah. He's not ashamed of doing what nobody has done in his family. He's not ashamed of doing what is not moral. Yeah. It is funny, so he has finally sparked reactions that he has cleared the air. Nobody should talk about that issue again. Nobody has the right to judge him. My correct people then, before I allow you to hear from the horse's mouth, which I want to do now so that you hear from his own mouth what he's talking about. Because he said the only person he owes explanations to is his wife, May. And May yes, said she doesn't want polygamy marriage. Guys, before we move forward to hear from his mouth, please do well to subscribe to this channel. Also, turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. God bless you for doing that. Most especially the passerby who have decided to stop over to check one or two things. May God continue to favor you. Please let that love enable you to click on the subscription button. Thanks so much for doing that. So guys, at this point, let us listen to our incoming presido our the solomon of our time <laughs> listen to him before we continue good morning guys uh hope you're all doing good uh, for me i'm fine i'm fine we thank god for a brand new day uh, thank god for the weekend um <clears throat> so i said i was going to speak and you know see my mind about the whole thing you know speak um say my own side of the story um, although a lot of people said I shouldn't say my side, I should just be silent. But like I said before, uh, <clears throat> silence is good. Yeah, but um, not all the time. You know, sometimes silence is not really the best answer. You really have to speak. So I have decided to. <clears throat> excuse me. I have decided to speak. Um, for the past two weeks right now a lot of people have been you know discussing this issue you know me um the whole polygamy <coughs> excuse me the whole polygamy thing uh me taking a second wife and all that it's been buzzing everywhere we broke the internet and all that you know and people are still talking it's it's everywhere people are throwing insults you know we're, uh, um, pumping a lot of energy into the issue you know so <coughs> i decided i'm going to speak my mind all right now here's my take about the whole thing it's my life all right it is my life listen i have the right to wake up in the morning and marry 25 women if i like i make it up to 50. it is not your business it is not the business of you know everyone around and you know to be saying things it's my life it is my life. The energy that you all are channeling into, you know, this thing. I mean, on a personal issue, my own personal issue. That's why politicians don't take uh, the people seriously. Nigerian politicians don't take Nigerians seriously. I mean, we have a lot of issues in this country. So many issues. Have you all channeled this energy to those issues? Have you? No, you have not. I mean, a party, a party promised us one dollar to one naira, and by the time they made this promise, a dollar was two hundred and sixteen or two hundred and fifteen. Today, the dollar is five hundred and ninety. It exchanges at five hundred and ninety uh, naira, and still going up. What have you all done about it, Nigerians? What are you saying about it? What are you saying to these people? The same party. I mean, I see people, youths, uh, also forming groups, different support groups for, for the same party. 
And these are the same people who come online to, to say things about me, to judge me. Shame on all of you. I repeat myself. Shame on all of you. You have no rights. It is my life. Like I said before, it is my life. I have the right to wake up in the morning and marry 100 women in one day. It's my life. It's not your business to judge me. The only person I owe an explanation is May, my wife. She's the only person I owe an explanation. Yes. And when and how that explanation is done is still not the business of people out there. It is not. I mean, let's be honest. <clears throat> let's be factual. There are men out there, a lot of men who have children from different women. They even have different families. We have women who have children, who are married, who have children for other men in their families. We have priests, we have a, 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 a clergymen, pastors who have children from different women, from different marriages, all over the place. All sorts of issues, yet these people don't have the guts to come out and own up to it and say, these are my children, this is my child, or anything like that. And then someone like me, a man like me who has, you know, who has the integrity, who has the respect, who has the guts to come out and own up and people are saying things about me. Shame on you. Can you hear me? I said, shame on you. There are problems all over the place. I mean, someone sent me a message and, and said I should, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the person said uh, that he's advising me to address, to call a, a press conference. I should call a press conference and discuss my family life with you. Excuse me. <laughs> like, 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 are you serious? Excuse me. A press conference. With all the problems in Nigeria, all the problems that we are facing right now, there are problems in this country. I mean, have you told the government of the day to call a press conference and address all the... Food prices are rising. Everything is increasing. People are suffering. Have you called on the government to address those issues, to call a press conference? You're telling me, you Leduce, to call a press conference so that we're going to discuss my... I'll discuss my life with you. Shame on you. You should focus on your own life. My life is not your business. I mean, yes, I'm a celebrity, I do films, I have a fan base and all that. I'm very grateful for all that. I'm grateful to the people who love uh, the films that I do, who have supported my career. But you all must understand that I have my private life and I'm entitled to my private life. I cannot take decisions based on my private life. And then everybody is, oh, everybody is killing themselves over my private life. Shame on you. Have I come to your own private life to talk about it? Do I talk about your own private life? Do I tell you what you should do and what you should not do? Do I insult you? Huh? Do I do that? Have I done that? No. No, and I will never do it. It's my life. I have a right to take decisions that I feel are okay for me in my family, in my personal life. You have no right to judge me. I was not created by you. I was created by God. The same God created all of us. That same God is going to judge me. And that same God is going to judge all of you. You have no right. Focus on your own problems. We all have our various issues. All these people who wake up in the morning and then they carry my name, you know, my family on there. They all have their own issues. You have problems that are disturbing you. Focus on your problems. Apart from that, we have general problems in Nigeria. No wonder. That's why, like I said before, uh, the, the, the leaders don't take us seriously. Yes, we, <coughs> excuse me, we complain about uh, having bad leaders, bad leaders and all that. Yes, you know, for a very long time, it's been quite bad in Africa. But I've come to realize that part of the problem is also uh, the fact that uh, the people focus on irrelevant things. The people focus on frivolities. I mean, I said it before, I do, I do uh, campaign posts and I get 2,000 comments. You know, I talk about how things can be you know, fixed in Nigeria. I talk about issues that can make Nigeria work and make the common man have a better life in Nigeria. I get 1,000 comments, 500 comments. Nobody cares. And then I talk about my family life, my private life. I get 60,000 comments. All of a sudden, everybody is concerned. What is your business with my private life? What's your business? It's my life. It's not your business. Focus on your life. You have your own issues. Everybody has his own issues. Focus on it. 
focus on your life. My life is not your problem. Leave me alone to live my life. I have a private life. Yes, I have the public life, you know, that everybody, I mean, you talk about my films and all that. Then I have my private life. It's my business. Shame on you if you wake up every morning and all you do is to, to you know, talk about Yule Dochi and, and, and his, you know, second wife and first wife and all that. Shame on you. Focus on your life. Shame on you if that's all you do. And then by the end of the day, you're looking for who to beg money from. You're begging money, you know, from people who are productive, who are thinking about their own lives and how to fix their lives. You stop your own and you're worrying about my life and then you, you wonder why you're not making money in the day. Shame on you. I mean, look at the case of the, the, the female singer. Uh, it, it's now everybody came out to say, oh, she should have spoken. She should have spoken. She should have spoken. Uh, whatever you, you know, speak out, blah, 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 blah. Now a man comes out and speaks out and owns up to his responsibility and said, yes, this is what I did. And this is, you know, owns up to it. And everybody feels yeah, he or she has a right to judge that person. Shame on you. Hypocrites, that's what you all are. Shame on you. You all have different issues, different things that you're hiding, all of you. I mean, there are men, I'll say it again. There are a lot of men out there who have five, six, many children, married who have many children from different women. There are clergymen who have children who have families from different women. There are women who have children. They are married, they have children. For other men, they can't speak out. And then they, they hide them. And then a man like me comes out and speaks out and owns up to my responsibility proudly as a man and people are coming out to judge me. Shame on all of you. Shame on you. You have no right, no right whatsoever to judge me. Judgment is for God. Like I said before, I can wake up any morning and get married to as many women as I like. It is my private life. I owe only one person an explanation to it and that's me. How it's going to be done, when it's going to be done, is not the business of the public. That's how it is. I'm saying this not just because of me, but for everybody. Because today it's me, tomorrow is going to be someone else. I mean, someone else comes out to, to, to own up, you know, to, to his responsibility. And then people start saying a, a lot of crap about that person. So I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for everybody. This is how it should be. There are a lot of people who have a lot of issues and then they hide. They can't say these things because of the fear of, um, of what society is going to say. Then a man like me who has no fear of anybody or anything, I come out to speak and then everybody is attacking me. You feel you can judge me. Shame on you. You have no right. When you talk, say these things like this, what about other people? I mean, when you when you when you all up, you know, spend all your time judging me and everything I, I did and all the things I shouldn't have done. What about other people who are also thinking of coming out with their truth? What happens to them? They will decide not to speak because ah, Yule Doche spoke and the whole world was against him. Shame on all of you! You have no right to judge me. I'm going to keep being who I am. I'm going to keep being the man that God created me to be. Only God can judge me. And I'm going to keep speaking my truth. And I'll tell you again, my life, my family, my family life, my personal life is not your business.